Astronomy GCSE Topic 13 Heliocentric Parallax. I was going to call this video How Do We Know How Far Away Stars Are? Uh, and it would be about the different methods for working out how far away stars and galaxies are. But the, the other ones I've actually covered in other videos. For example, um, I've mentioned when we did HR diagrams, if you know where a star is on an HR diagram from its spectral type, then you know what its absolute magnitude is. And if you know what its absolute magnitude is, then you can work out how far away it is. Uh, also, if it's a standard candle, such as a Cepheid variable, and I've done a video about Cepheid variables. Uh, for distant galaxies, we can use redshift. If you know the redshift of the galaxy, you can use Hubble's graph, the Hubble constant, to work out how far away it is. So this video is just about heliocentric parallax. Now, what is that? What is parallax? If you look at a nearby object against a distant background, and if you look at it from different angles, then it will appear to move against the background. For example, if you hold up a pencil and you look at it with one eye and then you look at it with your other eye, then against a distant background, such as this hill, it will appear to move. And that's because you're looking at it from a different angle and when something appears to move, when you look at it from a different angle, that's basically what parallax is. Now, if we look at nearby stars, against a background of much more distant stars, then they appear to move as well. But how do we look at stars from a different angle? Well, what we do is we look at them at different times in the year. If you look, here's the Earth in June, and then there's the Earth in December. And if you observe a star, a nearby star, in June and December, then it will appear to move against a background of more distant stars. And if you measure the angle shown there, the parallax angle, you can work out how far away the nearby star is. There's a fantastic animation here. I just look at this and imagine moving your head from side to side as you look at this animation. And it should be pretty obvious that the, the stars which move the most are the ones which are closest to us. And if you can measure that parallax angle, heliocentric as in the sun in the middle, then you can work out how far away the stars are. Something that you need to know, how big is a parsec? Well, there's 360 degrees in a circle and one degree is 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. So 60 arc seconds. Now one arc second, therefore, is a tiny angle. Now if a star has a parallax angle of one arc second, then we say it is one parsec away. So one parsec is a parallax angle, a heliocentric parallax angle of one second, a parsec. And one parsec is about 3.2 light years. So a parsec is a, a measure of distance based on heliocentric parallax. The ESA's Gaia satellite. Now, I mentioned this when I was talking about detecting exoplanets. Its job is to measure the positions of millions and millions of stars. And basically, it's measuring the parallax angle of millions of stars and it's helping to produce a map of the Milky Way. So we know millions of stars in the Milky Way, we know how far away they are because this satellite has measured at different times in the year, it's measured the position very, very accurately. And it's currently at the Earth-Sun L2 point. Do you remember we talked about Lagrangian points in another video? And you have a little think, why is that a good place to put it if it's measuring uh, these very, very dim stars? Why put it at the L2 point? 